All right, you guys, welcome to Speed Slide Express. So grab your discs if you're using them. Again, if you're on a hardwood surface, you can use a dish towel, or if you're on a rug, you can use um, like paper plates to do the movements. This is a strength class. You're going to put your feet on the sliders with your heels off. Come on over to the right side of your space, squat down, and you're going to go slowly side step over to the left. And then once you get there, you're going to reverse lunge that left leg slowly come back to a squat and then sl slip step over to the right once you get to the right slowly slide back that right leg bring it back to a squat and come side to side so again this is a strength class using these sliders so the speed is a little bit of a misnomer it's not cardio it's strength and it's slow and it burns and it's a lot of fun in just 15 minutes and again, I'm, I'm going to not include stretch in that 15 minutes. So I'll stick around every class a couple minutes and do a little bit of stretching. So here we go, going side to side here on each side, come on back and then slowly come back. We'll go over to the right to balance it out. Welcome, 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 Casey. Welcome ladies, bring it down. There we go, let's come center. Now the right leg is gonna stay where it is and we're gonna just lunge back the left leg slowly slide it up and then we're going to lunge it out to the side slowly bring it in so right leg stays where it is left leg's going to come back slowly bring it up and then out to the side keep that chest lifted and then slowly bring it in we're doing one minute rounds today no repeats on moves and we have a standing portion and the on the ground portion. This is one of those classes um, that can uh, be <laughs> sneaky hard, but it's one of those ones, if you keep coming week after week, you will get stronger. <sighs> there we go, and slide it back and slowly bring it in. Other leg, so left leg stays where it is, right leg, just slide it back, <sighs> slowly draw it in, and then out to the side. And slowly bring it in. Welcome, 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 Kelsey, Kristen, Suzanne, BFIT Studio. Is that Rochelle's house? Can't tell yet. Welcome, Cheryl, Brisa, Darlene, Aaron, Julie. Glad we got you in, Liz. There you go, team. If you're doing the dish towel, you're cleaning your house as you get that workout in. It's pretty good. Here you go. Come on out to the side. Slowly bring it in here. There we go. We got 20 more seconds. Slowly bring it in. Well, again, it's a steady controlled movement and you can kind of control that pressure that you put on the, from the floor to the mat or to the slider with how challenging it is or how deep you go back in that lunge or off to the side. Here we go, three, two, one. Now let's put the right disc away. We're gonna turn out the toes so we'll start in first position and we're gonna slide into a plie over to the left, slide into a plie and then <laughs> slide it back to center. So be careful on these. Slide out down to a plie, hold, turn out those knees, and then slowly slide it back up. Plie, slide out, slide it down, hold. Welcome, Anne Marie, slide it back. There we go, come on out. Sink down low into that plie, chest is lifted. Tuck that pelvis in a little bit forward and then slide it back. There you go, slide it down, hold, and then slide it back. 10 seconds on this way, and then we'll switch the slider to the other leg. There we go, three, oh, let's do one more. Here we go, two, and one, slide it back, switch it up. So again, the feet are in first position, long in the spine, slide it out to the right, and then slide it back center. There we go, slide it out. And slide it back center. Oh, the inner thighs burning. There you go, looking good. That is Rochelle, right? It's hard to tell. Yeah, it's totally you. Welcome, welcome. Nice, Julie, go Brisa. Whew. There we go, team. You have 30 more seconds here. And then we're going to slowly transition to the ground. And I'm gonna do my best to provide modifications for movements 
But again, this is one of those ones, you keep coming back week after week, you will get stronger. You will notice um, moves become easier for you. It is a different way to work the body with the sliding and the gliding across your floor. So just have fun with it. And we'll do what we can together, getting strong. 15 minutes at a time on Tuesdays at 8.30 with our gliders. Here we go, three, two, and one. Now you're gonna grab both sliders underneath your feet with those heels off the bat. You're gonna walk your hands down to your feet and then you're gonna walk them forward to a plank and then you're gonna draw your left knee in, send it back, your right knee in, send it back, bend those knees, slowly walk your hands back to your feet for a plank walk up. Now options, I've been thinking through options because I know we have some members that like to stay standing. You could also go near a wall and you can step one out, slide it in, step one out, slide it in. So if you are a member who prefers to stay standing and is working towards getting down to the ground, I'll work to provide some options. Otherwise, you come into a plank, two slow climbers, come center, come center. You have 10 more seconds, and then we move on. Let's have some fun. All right, our next move. You're going to go to hands and knees with the sliders underneath your feet. Raise your knees up to beast position. Extend straight the left leg, then bring it out to the side. Bring it center, bring it back, and then the right leg comes out. Out to the side, center, and back. So you're alternating the leg straight, center, out to the side, center, and back. If it's a bit much, you can keep your knees down for this one. Go out to the side, and again, you can work to modify up against a wall as well. I do have it so we're flipping back and forth so we don't absolutely murder our wrist, minus at the very end, there's a little bonus work. Welcome, Molly. Go, Amy. Nice, Suzanne. There we go. You have 10 more seconds, and then we're going to flip it over to a bridge. There we go. We can do it. Five, four, three. Two and one, flip it over to a bridge. And now the slide is gonna go at your heels. Come on to your back, shoot your hips up, and then you're gonna extend the left leg out long, bring it back in, and then you're gonna bring up the right leg just for a moment, point the toe, bring it down, and then alternate. Then the right, right leg extends, bring it in, and then the opposite leg, it's kind of sticking, bring it up. You can get rid of the kicks if you want, Otherwise, you're alternating here, kind of sticking to my, my heel, keeping those hips up, sliding it back, bringing it in, and then kicking up the opposite leg. Standing option with this would be sliders under your heels, and we'll all learn this together. So again, keep coming back. If you're a stander, we'll still got moves for you. Wherever you're at, you have 15 seconds, so you will slide forward leg with a slider underneath your heel. You've got to take five seconds, and then we're going to go back into beast. Here we go. Three, two, one. Back into beast. This time we're going to do a twist in beast. So hands and knees, bring those knees up off the ground, and then you're going to twist your knees over to the left, come center, and then twist them over to the right, come center. So those sliders are helping make it a little extra hard to work the twist. Twist, center twist, center. We are just eight and a half minutes in. Can you see how these are going to make us have abs of steel by the time, you know, summer rolls around? It's a challenging workout. Just again, it's our first time doing it together unless you were here for Be Fit Stronger. Again, you could go against the wall and maybe not use the sliders this time, but do those beast twists against the wall. <laughs> Otherwise, you've got 10 more seconds and then we're going to go back into a bridge. There we go, team. We can do it. 15 minutes of strength and burn. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back into our bridge. Give our wrists a little bit of a break. Shoot those hips back up. And now what you're going to do, those heels are on the sliders. You're going to bring those hips down, bring them up. And then you don't need to go too far, but work on bringing both legs out, straightening those legs a little bit and then bringing them back in, Whew. hamstrings, here we go. Bringing the hips down, 
bring those hips up and then extend those legs a little straight and then drive those heels back towards your bottom. Down, up, and then a little bit of an extension here. Drive those heels back to start. And again, you can do a standing option of a one-legged squat, heels on the sliders, working the backs of those legs and those glutes. It burns, it burns so good. You've got 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna start working on chest. Oh, it goes quick, hurts so good. Go Kay, go Corinna, go Tara, go Nancy, Julie, three, two, one, flip it over. This time the sliders are gonna go under your hands. So the, you're gonna set up a plank, knees or toes, or again, you can go against the wall and you're gonna slide out the left hand to a traveling push up, come down and then slide it back center. And then the right arm out to the side, down and center. Again, you can be on your toes, same idea. So you slide it out, do a push up and then slide it out the other side. 20 seconds here. And then again, if you're standing this time, you just go classic push-ups here. We've got this. Four more minutes. Yes, feel the burn. Again, this 15 minute strength workout. It's easier on the joints a bit without the weights. It goes quick, but it's intense. There we go. Five more seconds here. And then we're gonna actually stay in this position. Here we go. We have three. Two, one, um, let's have everybody drop to your knees. This next one, I'll show from the side. You're gonna keep your right arm where it is um, and you're gonna slide forward the left arm and bend the right elbow, come down and up and then alternate. So it's a tricep push up on the bent elbow arm and then you extend the other arm, come back up, come down, come up. And again, you really wanna work, I'm bracing your core on this one. Three moves are left. You guys are crushing it. There you go, trust your body. Have fun with it. And again, this is a new format. You're doing things your body has not done in maybe years if you were in V-Fit. I think it's been at least two years since we have had this one on our schedule. There we go. We've got five more seconds. Woo, there we go. Three, two, one. Three moves are left. Next one, we're going to sit on our bottoms put those sliders at our heels with options. You can stay seated, kick out one leg, bring it out to the side, center and up. You can stay here, or if you want, bring that bottom up off the ground, and then you can do one leg at a time here, or oh, both legs at the time here, coming and up. So again, a few different options for this one. And we just have two more moves. And then we're done. And again, I will stick around. I'll commit to sticking around for two extra minutes at least to stretch, but it's gonna be 15 minutes of work every time you log in. There we go. 15 seconds here. Oh, it burns so good. And again, you can do one leg at a time. You can have the bot your bottom on the ground too. There we go. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Back to a plank position. This is plank to pike. So come into your plank. I'm not sure how the modification will work for if you're on your knees now. So let me think it through for a moment. moment. Maybe hold the plank on your knees if that's where you're at. Otherwise, come into plank on your toes. And then you're going into a pike, which is slowly bringing your feet towards your hands and sliding those sliders towards the back of your hands. And then slowly bring the sliders back to start. So yeah, your alternate move would be plank against the wall or plank on your knees and just working on building the core strength. So you eventually get a little more comfortable and work the plank on your toes. Otherwise, plank to pike for 10 more seconds and then one final move. And then we've speed slid to success. Our first Tuesday edition together. Go Amy, go Diane, Liz. Michelle, I remember cursing your name so much during when you used to teach this. Oh my goodness, there we go. We have five, four, three, two, one. Last move in the plank position. This is the last one though. You're gonna have those legs um, narrow. You're gonna bring them wide. 
Bring them center. Keep your hips where they are and draw your knees in. Then draw them out. This is the last move. Wide, center, draw your knees in. Come on straight. Wide, center, draw your knees in. Or you can have, be on your knees and you can bring one leg out, bring it wide, bring it center, bring it in, and then alternate. This is it, 30 seconds. And then the official class is done. And then we'll do a little extra stretch. So it's Speed Slot Express plus a mini stretch. Thank you again for joining. There we go, we got 10, nine, eight, seven, six. You can do it, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, roll out those wrists. That's officially class time, but I'm gonna stick around and stretch for a minute. So if you want to stay, stick around and stretch, we can. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining. Roll out those wrists. Another option would be to hold on to dumbbells for some of that plank work. I did the best I could to alternate, but the last, last few moves were a little heavy on those wrists. There we go. Reach those arms up nice and tall. And then next week I might do more standing work and less floor work and kind of alternate it a little bit. But again, this class is really good. If you keep coming back, you just keep getting stronger. I'm a two or four fold. Again, thank yourself for coming in, working on a new format, whew, or bringing it back into the schedule. There you go, just take a few breaths here. That was intense and it was quick, right? There we go, we'll come back to center. We'll do a butterfly stretch too. And another forward fold again, reach those arms up nice and tall. Reach them forward, bring them down. And then again, you can drop your head around your spine. Heart rate comes up a bit too there right at the end. There you go, just 15 minutes in your day. Building that deep inner core strength. And then slowly come up. We'll go crisscross out the sauce and do a side stretch. Drop the right arm down, left arm up <laughs> nice and tall. Oh, and then get a nice stretch in. There you go. Whew. Yeah, so we had this on the schedule. I was living in Florida for a few months and I remember just cursing Michelle's name <laughs> so much because it was so hard. And it was like the first workouts in a while which I couldn't do, but then it was good because it was so hard, you know, and I kept coming back because I wanted to get stronger every time. So I hope you keep coming back. Inhale, reach those arms up nice and tall. These challenges are good for us. Exhale, bring it down. One more time, inhale, reach those arms up and exhale down. There we go. If you have time to keep stretching, <laughs> keep stretching. We're gonna be so smoking strong for the summer if we keep coming back. Thank you guys for joining. Bye guys.